Hello. Hi. Hi, Anna Hercules. <laughs> En Ernesto, en Roelma, en Herbert. Hi, sorry. <laughs> I mute my microphone. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, Herbert. How are you doing? And Ernesto. Hi. Hi. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Herbert. And Fatima Virginia and Fatima Emperatriz. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> nice. Let me see, Fatima. I don't know which Fatima is the one who wasn't able to get into the meeting. Were you, Fatima Emperatriz? ¿Usted estaba teniendo problemas con el internet? No? That's good. So, I know most of you are already done with uh, the platform, but in case that you haven't finished, please finish it. Tienen que terminarlo. Recuerden que tienen que, si no han terminado, pero por los que ya lo hicieron, gracias. Pero para los que no han terminado la plataforma, tienen que terminarlo por lo menos este fin de semana. You have time. You're going to have Friday, Sunday, Saturday and Sunday. Three days to finish it. Uh, Ernesto, did you get the um, papers for getting into the next course? No. Not Tonight yet. We 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 finish as at at part four, but eh, no nos han enviado el el documento. No. No. See, I already sent an, a message asking for, so they said that they were gonna do it. Hopefully, they are gonna do it. Espero que, que lo hagan mañana. Es que la, 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 la otra situación, la verdad que la ficha que le mandan a uno, simplemente uno la llena y la envía. Otra solución uh -huh. sería que los que ya les enviaron la ficha, que nos la, nos la compartan. Pues. Compartan. Uh -huh. Entonces simplemente la llenamos y la enviamos porque ahí está el correo. Perfecto. Lo que pasa es que en cada nivel nos dan una ficha y la ficha trae ya trae la fecha, entonces uno la llena. Lo que no ah. sé si en esta ocasión hay que llenar la ficha por computadora o hay que llenarla siempre, o hay que llenarla a mano y escanearla. A mano, ajá. ¿Los demás que ya llenaron la ficha, cómo la hicieron? How did you do it? Hay que llenarla ambas. Ambas. Ajá. Uh -huh. Astrid, usted no la tiene, que la comparta, por favor. Sí, se las puedo compartir. Gracias. Gracias. Ah, pero, pero también faltaría el enlace para el enlace que se llena en línea. Pero ahí, ahí van el mismo mensaje, ya se los reenvío. Excelente, Porque a mí excelente. el 26 de julio me escribieron. Ah, nice. And what about the oh. other ones? Y los demás ya están inscritos todos, solo Ernesto en, y Roelma no están en el inscritos. No, oh, a mí no me ha llegado tampoco nada. Ah, no. Ok, then. Acabo ah. de revisar el correo y tampoco está en el correo. Es que okay. lo mandan por WhatsApp, Ana. Ajá, pero ya en veces también me la mandan por correo. Mm. Ya me la han enviado por correo, pero hoy no está tampoco en correo. Ah, pero Fati me la compartió también. O sea, por correos, okay. por fa, este, WhatsApp, siempre me han enviado el, eh, lo que se llena, ¿verdad? Pero por correo me han enviado el formulario en veces, pero hoy no me ha caído. Aquí lo compartió Fátima y Astrid. That's ok. Fátima y Astrid. Then you can check it and then you can, you're going to be able to get into. 
Ten. No, yo no, gracias. <risa> Fecha límite pues 29 de julio, dice. Gracias. Okay. Nada. So, are the rest ready for? ¿Ya están listos para el siguiente nivel? ¿Ya están yeah. todos? I'm ready. <risa> nice. Good. Nice. That is really good. That you are ready for the next level. Cool. Okay, we have, so it's already time for starting our class. And um, I just want to you to remind me uh, what we were studying in the previous class. ¿Qué, qué vimos en la clase anterior? ¿Qué estudiamos? <laughs> Nobody remembers, remember something? Uh, we, dis we describe it, uh, everyone. Mm -hmm. We describe ourself, our appearance. Ourself, modifier, mm -hmm. with participles and prepositions. Uh -huh. Modifiers with participles and um, prepositions, which are some prepositions that we know. ¿Cuáles son algunas preposiciones? In, in on, next, on, on, with, next to, next to, with, uh -huh. around And the there, corner of. Uh -huh. There are many, there are like around 170 or 150 with, uh, prepositions. With, with. Uh -huh. Yeah, there are many prepositions. And how with do we make one. the participles? Does someone remember how do we make them? ¿Cómo hacemos los participios? Uh, verb plus ing. Verbo uh -huh. ing. Uh -huh. ing. Perfect. Good. Good. That means that you were in class yesterday. <laughs> and pay attention. Good. Okay, today is, which day is today? Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, August 11, 2021. Okay, your turn to say it. You can say it now. Today is? To Wednesday, mm -hmm. August 11, 2021. Perfect. And yesterday, which day was yesterday? Yes. It was? Yesterday was uh, Tuesday. Uh -huh. Tuesday. August. August. Thanks. Thanks. 2020. Uh -huh. 2021. 10th? 21, yeah. Okay, yesterday. good. Good. <laughs> And as I said, we are going to see today the present perfect. Does someone know what the present perfect is? Do I have someone that knows? ¿Qué es el presente perfecto? Do you know? Yo he hecho. Present perfect. Mm -hmm. It's something that you, that you have done before, but you can do it again. Mm -hmm. And it's something that you have done before now that is in the past, but uh, it can be in the, like close to the, can be, it can continue being happening. Okay, good. Okay, we're going to see a little bit more of that. And it says, present perfect. Help me reading. I'm gonna have reading and this. Um, I will ask for a volunteer. I don't like to ask people when they are, um, if you are ashamed of or shy. <laughs> okay, who wants to be a volunteer to help me reading? Joanna, Joanna Beatriz. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, present perfect. It's used for an indefinite. Uh -huh. Indefinite time. 
indefinite time in the past. Also, it is used to talk about experience or change that have taken place. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, it is used for an indefinite time in the past. Un tiempo que no sabemos específicamente cuándo fue. Y también para hablar de experiencias, to talk about experience. For example, I said, um, I have gone to a party. I have gone to the supermarket, but I don't know the specific time in the past. Or experience is something that I have happened. And uh, things that have changed. Like uh, I can say, oh, this um, building wasn't here. It has been uh, um, like uh, a different thing here or something. So it's like for changes that have happened in the past. And we're going to learn a little bit more about that. Oops, I don't know why this is too big that I cannot, you cannot see. I'm going to go and make it, move it down because, yeah, it moves. Good. I think now we're going to be able to see. Okay. So, is the conversation is a visit to New Orleans. I was like wondering where New Orleans is. Do you know where New, or New Orleans is? No? That someone knows? No? So it's a, um, it's a city located in Louisiana. That's a, this, a state of uh, the United States. So they are talking about um, the visit and we're going to um, read the conversation, but I don't want to be the one who is reading all the time because um, I, I want you to practice. So I will ask uh, who is a volunteer that wants, or how would you prefer? Do you want me to read it first? And then you can listen, or do you want to uh, read it by yourself and then I correct you? Como quieren? Lo leo yo primero y, y ustedes lo escuchan, o lo leen ustedes y yo los corrijo después. ¿Cuál quieren? Primero usted. Uno, dos. Ok. Ok. Good. <laughs> I will do it then. Ok. And this is a conversation between Jen and Todd. And it says, it's great to see you, Todd. How, how have you been in, uh, uh, how long have you been in New Orleans? So it's, this is uh, how long, long is here. How long have you been in New Orleans? So that was opposite. I'm gonna fix it. And then Todd says, just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a, re a ride? A riverboat tour. I already have, I already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I already just, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, I'm going to fix that because it, this is not part of it. How long have you been? Uh, 
Okay, any questions about how we um, pron um, the pronunciation of any word? Riverboat. Or any word that you don't know? Mm, a lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, this is a different, um, if you see it, it's a different like uh, a structure. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of um, hard because it's not a present, it's not past. So it's kind of present, but not, it is not past too. So it's hard. So um, what about, uh, which word do you have uh, questions about it or meaning? Mm -hmm. Todos los verbos, todos los, teacher, todos los verbos están en qué, en pasado participio, ¿ok? Porque dice ah, be, en presente eh, perfecto. Presente perfecto, porque sería be, was, where, eh, been. Been es already been, es uh -huh. en presente perfecto, been. Uh -huh. Más abajo aparece done, que es del uh -huh. verbo done. do. Ajá, uh -huh. eh, exacto. Abajo aparece riding, que es de uh -huh. manejar en, en, también, riding. Ajá, uh -huh. eh. ya. Yeah. So those are the verbs we're going to see a little bit later because like being, that's a different structure, uh, written and um, what the other one, like eaten is not, because the present is uh, eat, the past is ate, and the present uh, perfect is eaten. So they are irregular. Actually, th those are past participles that are irregular. So it is kind of tricky, but uh, we are not used to uh, use these. We usually use present, past, or future. That's what we are most used to do it, to, um, yeah, to read or to write. But in this case, it's a little bit hard. Okay, so... But I think in the next module, you are going to um, go deeper too, because this is like really extent. Okay, so I'm going to go to this one. And this is regular past participles. So do you remember that we have a past? So we have a cold, cold, hike. These are regular verbs that don't change that are the same in, like in past. Okay. So in this one, it would be height. Mm. Height. And this one, how would be? ¿Qué me quiere dar? ¿Cómo sería este job? Job. Cuando tengo consonante, vocal, consonante, ¿cuál es la regla de la, de la última consonante? Duplicar la última consonante. Uh -huh. Duplicar la, uh -huh. la última consonante y agregar e, d. Es el, con los pasados participios regulares es la misma regla. Cold, height, jogged y try. Cheng and Y for I and add ED tried. Have you ever tried uh, droglets? Alguna vez has probado las ancas de rana? So those are kind of common. So these are the verbs that are the regular past participles that are the same as in the past when we use it in past but then later we have oops we have the ones can i move sorry that i didn't ask So these are the irregular past participles. For example, B is 
Been. Been. Uh -huh. What do you want for do? Alguien sabe? Someone knows what it would be the past participle? Done. Done. Uh huh. Done. What about for eat? Eaten. 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 Mm -hmm. Eaten. Mm -hmm. What about for go? Gone. 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 Yeah. And the past, what is the past for go? Go. Went. 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 Mm -hmm. So, and have, what it will be? Has. Had. Mm -hmm. Had. El pasado is had. Mm -hmm. What about for make? Made. Making. Make. Made. 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 Mm -hmm. What about for ride? Written. Mm -hmm. Written. What about for see? Seen. 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 Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a, a dolphin? So those are the irregular past participles. That means that they change. They completely change. It's like the irregular past that they change. They completely, like it's different. Questions about this? I want this. Sí. Eso es una buena idea porque cuando uno está aprendiendo tiene que memorizarse muchas cosas, presente, pasado y, y el, el pasado participio de los verbos para que no le cueste y es de aprenderse lo más Diría, aprender lo más que pueda, pero es de aprenderse los más comunes. ¿Para qué no le cueste? Les voy a, les voy a mandar este, una lista. Bueno, en la lista de los pasados, en, de, los, de los verbos en pasado, iba el... el, el el pasado participio presente per, um, presente perfecto que iba ahí so then you can use it okay good. are you good with that can I move puedo moverme la siguiente yes okay well I'm gonna go back actually no lo borré I'm gonna go back because now you have a, a like an idea of why we have uh, we have we're using um, those kind of verbs. So, have you been to a jazz concert, uh, jazz club yet? So, have es el auxiliar que vamos a usar en este en este tiempo. Vamos a usar have. Este es el verbo auxiliar como el que tenemos did, uh, does. En este caso, nuestro verbo auxiliar va a ser have. Para cuando usamos las, um, cuando usamos you, we, they, it's going to be have. Pero cuando usamos he, she, it, va a ser siempre. ¿Cuál es el que usamos? Has. Has. Uh -huh. Y ese es el verbo auxiliar que vamos a usar. Ya no vamos a usar did, ya no vamos a usar este, el, el, um, el do y el das. But we have to be careful because sometimes we are talking about the present perfect and we are talking about the past. That this is the class, that is going to be the class that we are going to 
have tomorrow. Lo que decía es que tenemos que tener cuidado también porque algunas veces tenemos que identificar el presente perfecto y el pasado. Y en el pasado si sí usamos el auxiliar did y los verbos en pasado. So that's sometimes is kind of what should I do? What should I write? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. And uh, I'm going to have you uh, practicing. And who's going to be the volunteer? Or do you want me to choose? ¿Quién quiere ser voluntario o los elijo yo? Para la conversación. Oh, Joana Beatriz. Do you want to start, Joana? Yes. Okay, choose another person. Escoja otra persona. Ana Guerra. Okay, Ana Guerra. You are the nice one, so that's why they are asking you. Ana, are you here? Oh, yeah, she's there. So you are so nice that everybody wants to practice with you. Mm. Okay, are you fine? Teacher, teacher, yeah. perdí señal por un momento. Okay. Eh, so, me podría repetir, porfa. Solo escuché que dijeron Ana Guerra y me perdí. Es que la escogieron a usted para que... Um, Hagan la conversación. Ah, para, para la ah conversación. perfecto. Uh -huh. Ok. 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 Um, visit yeah. to New Orleans. Um, it's great to see you. So, how long have you been in New Orleans? Just a few days. I'm ready. I'm really excited to be here. I can't. Wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about Riverboat Tour? Uh, I have already done that too. Have you ridden in a street car? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to talk, to take it easy. My fate are killing me. Thank you. Okay, good. Okay, a streetcar, I was wondering what a streetcar looked like. And, and a streetcar is like the sedans, like, like a train, but it's not a train. It goes on rail, but it's not a train. So it's um, es similar al, al los que sí. Si, bueno, yo, yo creo que nunca vi, bien una vez creo que fui, y vi en San Salvador el Citran. Si lo han visto, es parecido al Citran. Uh -huh. Es como un trencito, pero es como, como un carro o como un bus. Algo así. So that's in a streetcar. And what else? Um, here. Take it easy. Take it easy es como, uh, solo quiero relajarme. Take it easy. Este take it easy va como unido. Take it, we don't say, like, a native person say, like, together. Take it, it doesn't say take it. Easy, like you join it, take it easy. I like join the three uh, words. And then my feet are killing me. My feet are killing me. That means that you are tired of walking and your feet are really sore of walking. That's what it means. And I can't wait to show, show you, show you. So that's the other, show you. Okay, good. Another person, otra persona que quiera participar.
Edwin. Okay, Edwin. Edwin and do I have another volunteer? Yes, me, me teacher. And Astrid. Okay. Good. So, uh, Be okay. you and me. It's Edwin and, and Astrid, I think. Okay. It's great to see you, Tom. How long have you been in New Orleans? Just yes. a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to Jazz Club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a river boat tour? Oh, I've already done that too. How are you reading in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so we're going to go to the next one. We already saw those ones and these ones. So now we're going to answer this question. What has Todd done in New Orleans? What he has done? There are three things that he has done. What he has done. Can someone help me? He has. He has. Um. What? He has? Done. No. no. He has done what? What are three things? Done is, is correct to use. He has? Done in New Orleans. What about? Reading. Reading what? A uh, streetcar. A streetcar. What? Where else? Que mas? And as you can see, he has. He has. Because I'm using he, I use has. What else? Another thing, he has. He has. Uh, Riverboat. River bow, what? what? Yes. He, has? Uh, he has taken a tour in a river boat. That can be, what else? Another thing. Club jazz. Ah, uh, he yes. has gone to a jazz Just club. Mm -hmm. He has gone to a jazz club. I think he already went to one. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más ha hecho? Written a streetcar, has gone. I'm going to go back and then you can see. So we can leave these ones like in here and then we already know what we did. Okay. So this is Todd. And have you been to a jazz club yet? He said, I've already been to one. He already has been to one. And, uh, oh, he has, um, oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Um, he has done that too, a riverboat. You were right, we didn't write it. What else? What else he has done? Think those are the things that he has done. Okay, so the riverboat oh. and the streetcar, and what else? And oh, the three th uh -huh. only three things. Uh -huh. And the because... jazz club. Yeah, go ahead. Jazz club. 
couldn't hear you, Ernesto. What did you say? Es que solo son tres lugares, el Jazz Club, el Riverboat uh -huh. y el Streetcar. Y el Streetcar, okay. good. Sí, porque a él le duelen los pies. Ajá, ya no quiere continuar. Good. Okay, so these are the three things that he has done. Okay, okay. No, I cannot move that. No puedo mover ese, así que lo vamos a dejar ahí. He has done the uh, river boat tour. tour. Mm -hmm. Good. And he has ridden a street car and he has gone to a jazz, jazz club. club. So those are events or experiences that he has been having. Okay. Good. So now we're going to go to the next one. So we're going to make a review of um, present perfect in the affirmative form. So we have, what do we have? Subject, what subjects do we have? I know you know them, pretty good. We Que tenemos? Uh-huh. I, we're gonna, we, you, and they. Mm -hmm. And they. What about the other ones? He, he, she, she, she. she. Mm -hmm. it. it. But what are we gonna use with those ones? ¿Qué vamos a usar? ¿Cuál va a ser el verbo? Has. 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 Uh -huh. Con esos tres vamos a usar has. has. Y el verbo va a ir en pasado participio. Es el presente perfecto, pero el verbo va en pasado participio. Entonces, el pasado participio de past participle, like, I have worked for five years. And that means that you have been, um, you are going to continue working. So I have been working for 10 years. And that means that you are going to, if you have a job, you are going to continue working. So, and then he has worked for eight years or seven years. But the verb is in past participle. What are going to be the auxiliary? Has and have. Va a ser el sujeto, el verbo auxiliar has y have, y el verbo en pasado participio, y después el complemento. Por ejemplo, he has, um, what can you say? He has, uh, what can we, uh, he has um, eaten. Eaten is the verb in past participle. He has eaten uh, frog legs. Mm. I haven't. Have you ever, actually, this is a really good question. Have you ever um, eaten um, a squirrel? Do you know what a squirrel is? Squirrel. Mm -hmm. No saben que es un squirrel? No es, es Pokémon. Pokémon. No, es, <laughs> pero es que Pokémon es squirrel. Like, um, es similar, pero squirrel. Oh, that's a, a de de rana. Ajá, no. De rana. Eso es ar, ardilla. Oh, ¿Alguna, ardilla. Vez han, oh. ajá, ¿Alguna vez han comido ardilla? No. No. Yes? Juan, No, teacher. En los hey. transformadores están a cada rato. Por... <laughs> ya preparada. <laughs> ya preparada, sí. I don't, know. I don't know if here you can eat them. Actually, I don't know if it is safe to eat them. To eat them. But in Minnesota, uh, there is a family who invited me for having a squirrel. 
And then I was the first time that I have it. And I was like, what? <laughs> I will never had that. And they say, you should try it. It's, it's really good. Actually, it is like similar to chicken. So I was so excited to try it. But at first I was like, ugh. <laughs> yeah. And I like it. So you can eat them. And it's, it's nice that Juan Panamini already tried them. So I'm not the only one. Okay, good. I'm going to go to the next one. And I want to clear these. So that's for the affirmative form. And now we have the present perfect in the interrogative form. <clears throat> so here we have, what do we have first? Help me. ¿Qué tenemos primero? El? Sujeto. No. No. Con las preguntas, ¿qué tenemos? El? Auxiliar. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. El verbo auxiliar, el verbo auxiliar. Has or have, depende del sujeto, uh -huh. it depends on the subject, we're going to use have or has. Yes. Have si or has. She, uh -huh. Has she worked for eight years? Uh -huh. So that's the um, interrogative form. Remember that it has to be has or has in everything so if it is affirmative or it is negative or interrogative no more did and do or does we're going to use has and have um has she ever uh worked in a restaurant worked alguna vez has trabajado en un restaurante so i i have never if I said, if I said the answer, like if I said in a positive way, I would say, yes, I have worked in a restaurant or no, I haven't. So you see, when you answered, you answered with the verb, the auxiliary verb and the verb in past participle, in pasado participio. And that's for affirmative or negative. So in this case, it's not like past. That past, the verb in the interrogative form, it was the base form. En este no es igual que en el, el, en el pasado. Porque en el pasado, cuando hacemos preguntas, el verbo va en qué forma? En la forma base, normal, okay. sin cambiarle nada. Pero aquí es diferente. Cuando usamos el presente perfecto, el verbo va a ir en pasado partic participio. Weird because I don't use those things in Spanish. Alguien, yo nunca vi el, el pasado participio en español. Alguien de ustedes sí. Like I, I have learned it in English, but not in Spanish. So it's kind of a, like, yeah, a little bit different. So, and then the short way is um, yes, I have, no, I haven't. So this is the contracted uh, way. I have not. No, I haven't. Okay. Good questions. No. Okay, good, good. Here. Yeah. Thank you, Astrid. Yeah, so here we have a present perfect with already and yet. So it says the present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. And here we are going to be um, the contractive form or the short form. Aquí vamos a ver la forma contractada o la forma corta. For example, it says, have you been to a jazz club? Y aquí responde. Mm -hmm. yes, I've been to several. Mm -hmm. So this is the short way or the contractive way to say it. Este es como decir el cuando tenemos aquí. I've es como decir I have. 
pero es una forma, son Tengo las contractadas. Ajá. Las formas contractadas. So, I es como decir I have. Y es I've been to several. Ok, good. That's the affirmative way. Esta es la forma afirmativa. Ok, now I'm gonna help, I'm gonna ask you to help me. Uh, who's going to, I'm gonna go in order. De hecho, voy a ir en orden. Y vamos a ver quién me aparece primero. Que no participe. Ah, ok. Ana, Guer, Ana, Ana Hércules, you are the first one. Ok. You are going to read the question and then Ernesto, o oh, Ernesto went away. Astrid is going to answer you in the affirmative way and Roelma in the negative. And then we're going to continue. Ana Guerra is going to um, read the question and then Ernesto is going to answer it in the affirmative way and Harrison in the negative. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes. 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 Been several. No, I haven't been to one. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. Haven't. Mm -hmm. Haven't. Perfect. Been to Your one. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. My turn. Mm -hmm. Has she ridden in a street street car? Mm -hmm. Has she ridden yes. in a street car? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ernest, affirmative. Yes, she's riding in one, in one. Uh -huh. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Okay, it was Harrison, but uh, turn, that's fine. Okay, uh, Harrison, you can read it. Oh, yeah. Again, that's just fine. That's good, you can okay. read it. Mm -hmm. um, no, she hasn't ridden in one. Mm -hmm. So if you see his, uh, she's like in this way is she has is the contraction of she has so if you see that then it is not a she is no va a ser she is va a ser he has or she has si ven aquí she's, she's, how she's do right. I know how do I know if it is she is or is she has ¿Cómo sé? ¿Por qué sé que aquí no va a decir she is? Por, ¿Por why do I know? Por, por ¿Cómo es el verbo? Ajá. Porque estoy usando un verbo en pasado, parte. Principio. Principio. There you go. Good. Ok. Now I have the next one. Joana Beatriz, you're going to ask. And Eneida is going to answer in the affirmative. Way and Harold is going to answer in the negative way or form. Ready? Okay. Has he called home lately? 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 Good. Yes, he is calling twice this, this week. Twice this week. Okay, thank you. Harold? No, he hasn't called in month. Called in months. If you a month. use, mm -hmm, we use time expressions too. Usamos expresiones de tiempo también. Twice this week can be um once months. Okay, good. And the next one is going to be Herbert, and then Esmeralda is going to answer in Fatima. It's going to, oh, he moved. So, Esmeralda, you are going to ask the question, and then Fatima answer the positive way or the affirmative way. And 
Ana Guerra already participate. Who haven't? Ah, Tora Mayor is going to answer in a negative way. Okay, ready? I cannot hear you. No le podemos escuchar, Esmeralda. Have they eaten mm -hmm. the dinner yet? Mm -hmm. Have they eaten dinner yet? Good. Fatima? Última Virginia. Okay. Uh, the, yes, they've already eaten. Mm -hmm. And the next one, who I said that was going to be the next one? Somebody? Okay, Adriana, please. Adriana Guadalupe. No. No, they haven't. Es que no veo esa letra. Eaten. Eaten, yeah. Okay, it's hard to see. No la pueden ver bien. Mm, no, no tanto. Okay, sorry. Pues. Okay, yeah, it's like kind of blurry. Okay, so. Pero puede see? dar zoom. Wait a second. Yeah, si lo hago más grande, yo si lo hago más grande, este se me um, distorsiona un poco. Lo siento. Yo sí lo puedo ver pero, bien, ajá. pero... Ajá. No, pero cada quien lo puede también darle zoom personal. Ah, got it. Good. Ok. Thank you. Ok. As I said, the contractions that we have, I've is I have, you, um, you have, his, he has, she's, she has, it's, it has. And with, we have, they've, they have. And have is have not, and hasn't, has not. So those are the uh, contractions that we have, and we know that these are not, she or he is because of the verb. Questions? Preguntas? No? Okay. So now sure. I, want... I have a question. Yes, go ahead. How to pronounce him? Mm -hmm. Eaten. Eaten. Mm -hmm. eaten. Like eat and eaten. Okay. That's right. uh, have they eaten dinner yet? Okay. So, Jed, I'm going to explain. This is the last thing that I want to explain about this because it's um, a lot of grammar thingy here. So, um, so here we have jet. Jet, uh, we use jet at the end of at the end of the questions, like um, oh, yeah. you done your homework jet, and those are those are at the end of the questions. Uh -huh. Aún. That's um and already is ya. Este es aún. Como ellos no han comido aún. Este es um en la forma negativa. They haven't eaten yet. So yet we use yet for um interrogative and negatives, but we don't use them in affirmative. 
No las usamos en la forma afirmativa, solo las usamos en la... In, <ríe> sí, me sale. Interrogativa y la negativa. That's when we use yet. And we use already in uh, questions. That tomorrow we're going to see more about that. In a, um, affirmative. Sorry, in affirmative. So, for example, uh, have you eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. So this is uh, for affirmative only. So jet is for negative and interrogative, but already we use it only on affirmative. Solo usamos el already para las afirmativas y el jet lo usamos para las negativas y las interrogativas. And tomorrow we're going to do a little bit more of that. Okay. Okay. Now, I think you, some of you already have done this and we're going to try to do some of these ones. So, since this one, which um, are we using past or uh, present perfect? ¿Qué estamos usando? ¿El pasado perfecto o el, um, el presente perfecto o el pasado? El presente perfecto que Ajá. se forma con el auxiliar have o has más el pasado para el del verbo. Exactly. Thank you, Astrid. So, what are we going to, if it is a question, what do we have to write? ¿Qué tenemos que escribir cuando es una pregunta? How. How. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y... Yes. Oops, sorry. ¿Cómo sé si es how or has? How. Please mute your mic, thank you. How. So, ¿Cómo sé si es have or has? With... For the subject For that the you subject. are using. Exactly. Good job. So because of the subject, then it's, it would be, have you done, done, uh -huh. done. Mm -hmm. exercise this week? Done, uh -huh. have you done? Le está diciendo el verbo. Aquí tiene, aquí tiene el verbo que va a usar. Oops. Este es el verbo do. Entonces, Aquí solo lo tengo que poner en pasado participio. Have you done much exercise this week? Actually, I have done some, but I am really sore. <laughs> okay. Yes, I have. have. Mm -hmm. I have. And the verb. Which is the been. verb? Been. 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 Uh huh. Yes, I have been. Oh, I don't know why my computer sometimes is crazy. Yes, I have already been to Arabic class four times. So that's good. Okay, then in this one, which is the verb that we have? ¿Cuál es el verbo que tenemos? Been. Play. Play. And it is a question. How do we have to do? Have. Um, uh, have. Uh, have. And. Play. The verb. Uh -huh. Played. Played. Have you played any sports this month? Good. And this one I is... Haven't. Huh. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. Haven't. And redo it. Huh. No, I haven't. So have, and we write the end, the apostrophe T. No, I haven't. 
No, I. Ah. No, I haven't. The time that doesn't make sense. No, I haven't had the time. So you have to add other. Something is fine. So haven't had the time. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't had the time. Because this is the auxiliary verb. And this is the verb in past. No, yeah. I have had the had time. The time. Mm -hmm. Porque este es el verbo. El verbo es had. Y este es el auxiliar más el negativo. La forma negativa. And this. How many movies have you seen? Mm -hmm. Have. You. I want to write it here. <laughs> Have you seen? seen. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the verb is going to, this is the auxiliary and this is the verb in past participle. Okay, good. There was a lot of grammar today, sorry. Fue un montón de gramática y es, tal vez el cerebro lo tienen como un poquito confundido, uso pasado, uso presente, que es lo que uso, pero a uh, con práctica se aprende y um, tenemos que practicar y leer y eh, también una forma de cuando no entendemos algo podemos ver videos en YouTube preguntar in that way you are going to get better because it's not easy and there are many rules and many things that we have to learn and it is uh, with the time and with practice Es con el tiempo y con la práctica que uno va um, mejorando. Okay, so thank you so much for being in the class. And if you have any questions, you can let me know. And I see you tomorrow. Remember that we have just three more classes. And por favor, I'm going to say this in, in Spanish. Por favor, trabajen si no han trabajado. Es mi responsabilidad recordarles. Si no han trabajado, hay que trabajar en la plataforma. Y... Uh, las indicaciones son que deben determinarlo por lo menos dos días antes, antes del, eso fue lo que me dijeron a mí, antes de el martes. Tienen el fin de semana, entonces el fin de semana para que trabajen viernes, sábado y domingo, para que terminen si no lo han terminado. Ok, ok. Have a good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Thank you.